Over the years, there have been many attempts to adopt the metric system, only to be thwarted by one thing or another. Greedy corporate interests, stubborn resistance from misguided politicians. But of all the reasons America still sells apples by the bushel and plywood in 4 by 8 sheets, this may be the weirdest one of all. In the late 1800s, the United States stood at a crossroads. On one side, the metric system, logical, global, standardized, a system that had taken hold nearly everywhere. And there was a lot of public support here in the US to do the same. On the other side, a bunch of dudes who thought the Great Pyramid of Giza had God's original ruler built right into it. Guess which side won? You see, around the same time, a movement called Pyramidology was gaining steam. Pyramidology is still a thing, by the way. You can buy this pyramid hat on Amazon, 22 bucks. The best part about this is someone asked, does it come with a guide? It's a hat. Anyway, there were those who claimed the Great Pyramid was more than just a fancy triangular pharaoh box. It was a mathematical prophecy machine, a cosmic blueprint that apparently proved the inch and the foot were sacred units ordained by God or aliens or both, but probably definitely aliens. These pyramid fanboys believe that the structure encoded the dimensions of the Earth, prophecies about the end times, and even, somehow, a total rejection of the metric system. And in 1879, they formed an organization called the International Institute for Preserving and Perfecting Weights and Measures, which sounds official, but was actually just a collection of anti-metric preachers, pseudoscientists, and self-appointed math prophets who despised the metric system, with one prominent member calling it atheistic and French. Atheistic and French? Whoa! By the 1890s, scientists were like, come on, man, we need to be consistent with the rest of the world. But Congress was being lobbied by pyramid bros saying, if we adopt metric, we're rejecting divine truth. Why switch to the metric system when the Bible, and possibly aliens, had already figured it out? And believe it or not, that argument worked. Over the next two decades, metric bills kept dying in committee like bad TikTok trends. And while the rest of the world went metric, America was busy decoding secret messages from limestone blocks in Egypt. History is full of strange detours, but few are stranger than the time America almost went metric and got stopped by pyramid power.